since in these years, 200 uh, new species of frog uh, were described. So, for uh, scientists, it is good to have your knowledge updated. So, this uh, workshop will help me to update my knowledge and to have uh, new landmarks where to continue with my job. We are here in uh, Bwindi Impenetrable Forest uh, doing a workshop for students coming from different African countries to learn about amphibians and reptiles, learn about their diversity, learn about their conservation, and learn about how to do science with them in the field. So there are three types of amphibian. Il y a trois types amphibiens. Okay, grenouille. Il y a les grenouilles. Sicilian. Et notre papier sicilien. And salamander or a uridel. Salamander. Okay. So sometimes there is a confusion between salamander and lizard. Quelquefois il y a la confusion entre les salamandres et les lézards. So in Africa, when we are here and we see something that looks like this, is a lizard. And you will see it has very small scales on its body like a snake. So it was really excellent to see uh, the students go from hearing about what they should do to actually practicing it and, and doing it well. So of preparing specimens, of taking data, of going out in the field and catching frogs at night and having them transform from hearing about it and knowing it to actually doing it. Well, this is a new species of Leptopelis. We already know that from the DNA, right? So if we take photos of this Leptopelis, and many, many other animals. And then two months from now, we're in the laboratory. Ah, this is a new species. We need to describe the color pattern. Mm -hmm. Which photo is it? We have photographed 10 Leptopelis. Which one corresponds to this specimen? You have to write down the number of the photos with the specimen or the information is lost. And so what I will do is I'll take this small piece. And I forgot to open my tubes. I'll take a small piece like this, and for me, it's important to make sure that the whatever you're using, ethanol or what I'm using here, it's important to make sure that it gets inside the tissue, so you can cut it up a small amount when you put it in. Yeah, and so Toby will do this last this one. What, what we did before, so you can go ahead and just poke the limbs and poke the tail and make sure you uh, right. use your forceps. So. My hope is that these students can go forward and do their own science, do their own science here in Uganda or in Rwanda or in DRC uh, or even elsewhere in Africa.